What is going on guys? Out here today on the Snake River in my Hobie kayak. I love this thing. Hobie Outback, for those of you who are interested in that sort of thing. Behind me is my dad in his Hobie kayak. We have an afternoon here. We're gonna bass fish a little bit and trout fish. And I don't know, just, spent, just have a good time on the river here. And then uh, hopefully, we brought some hot dogs as backup and hopefully we don't have to eat them because we catch some fish to eat. So let's get fishing. All right guys, my first bait of the day is this, I think it's a bandit. Yeah, it's a bandit crankbait. You can see it has like a scar on it. Had this one for a while. This is just a great, just a great lure. Sartreuse with a little bit of blue top on it. Guys, look at all these carp over here. Massive squirrel. My dad just caught a smallie. Look, look at all these carp. Look at all of them. Um, I don't see any bass. Yeah, I don't see any bass. Huh. Oh man, there are even more up in there. Should we see if we can snag see if we can snag one? What if we ate a carp today? Alright, let me see if I can run my bait real fast. Oh shoot. Gosh, here's where you bowfish. Bowfish for these suckers. Look at all of them. Tons of them, guys. Whoa, and I'm right in the tree. That is a nice smallie. Guys, check that out. On a yep. Crank. On a crankbait, we got lunch or dinner. Right. Well, at least for hungry. for one of us. Yes. Very nice. Excellent. That will eat. That will eat. Let's try. All right, let's do it. Well, guys, I just got out of my kayak, and there are two pops. Pops. There are two huge crawdads right here. Crawdads? Two giants, just sitting out, not even under rocks. Oh, oh, shoot. Okay, so there's, well, he went under a rock. Oh, all right. There are a bunch of crawdads out, guys. We might have ourselves a crawfish boil. There's another craw. They're all over. They're not even under rocks. Guys, this is sweet. Alright, so this is weird though. Both crawdads only have one claw. I wonder if that's like a fall time thing or something like that, or maybe that's just chance. But these these are nice sized crawdads. Guys, I was coming back. Look, there's this crawdad. that he's making his way for the deep water. Let's grab him. Boy, they are they are really fast and active right now. Ouch! This one's got me. Ouch! Son of a gun! <laughs> he has me. You see that? Ouch! Let go, dude. Ouch! Right, I'm just gonna let him drop. He got me good. There we go. Nice crawl. It was worth it. He'll be tasty. I'll get him back in the end. 
Yeah, they are all over. All right, guys. I've got about, I think, 10 or 12 crawdads. Big crawdads, too, mostly. And then a smallie, so looks like we aren't eating hot dogs for dinner. You know, let's, uh, while we're headed up to our spot where we're going to cook dinner, let's throw a little crankbait action out behind these rocks. These just look like they should be loaded with small mouth. I got one, but it snagged. Oh, guys, I got one. It's a big one, too, or it feels like it. I thought I was snagged for a second. Guys, I got a big fish. This is a good one. Oh, it's a big, big, sm uh, what's oh, a largemouth? Sweet. Look at that. Woo. On that crankbait. Got him. Not a giant. I, I think he may have been snagged because I thought, like, I thought it was a monster. That's still a nice fish. Look at that fish, guys. Beautiful largemouth. <laughs> Excellent. We're gonna let this one go. I don't know, just, it's too beautiful. Too beautiful. We'll catch a trout or something else to eat. We need a fish for my dad each, and then we'll eat the crawdads, but I wanna let this fish go. There he goes. <laughs> we do need another eating fish, but I wanted to let that one go. Pretty confident we'll catch another one. You know, now that I've said that though, I probably jinxed it. Alright, let's start the fire. This stuff will get it started real fast. Alright, get a big bundle of this will get it started quickly. Look how quickly that starts. If you're a little bit squeamish, you may want to skip this next part because I'm going to clean this, uh, clean this fish here. Let's check out catch of the day here. All right, we got, boy, some of these dudes are fast. So we got one in, er, two in there. Three. Oop. <laughs> Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and fourteen craws, and a nice smallie. All right, guys. First thing we're gonna do with the smallmouth is scale it. I forgot to bring my fillet knife, so we are not gonna fillet this smallie. We're just gonna do a simple gut. I'm gonna cut the head off. Every single time I make a bass catch and cook, there are always a few people who are like, oh my gosh, I cannot believe you cooked a smallmouth. I am unsubscribing from this channel. And a couple of, a couple of them, I'm like, why? I'm like, because they're game fish. Which is a funny answer because catfish are game fish, walleye are game fish, crappie are game fish, swordfish are game fish, all kinds of fish or game fish and yet we still eat all of those and uh, and some people are like well they're tournament fish and I get that if I was if I had a tournament lake and I had people like eating fish on my tournament lake I'd be like oh man but you know at the end of the day that's their business if they want to keep fish I don't own the lake they have as much just as much right to the fish as I do and uh, I actually don't keep bass anyway that are on tournament waters as I fish a few tournaments per year. So I don't keep any bass that are in those lakes and rivers usually, so. Anyway, there's nothing weird or strange about catching and cooking a bass. It's just like any other fish. That looks beautiful and this is ready for the fire. We're gonna cook this up a little bit differently. All right, so here's how we are cooking this fish guys it's called a mr. barbecue fish basket take this out and when I was in Brazil the Brazilians cook up their fish a little bit differently uh, one method that I saw quite a bit is they take a fish basket like this and I know some people do this here but it's definitely not as common 
and the fish goes in like this. And a lot of Brazilians, you just, uh, what I've done here is I've um, taken two rocks, put it, but put the fire between two rocks, and then we're gonna put the fish in the basket, and then we're gonna set it right on top of the fire once it burns down. That'll be, that's a little too hot, but we're just trying to get a nice bed of coals, but we're gonna cook the fish in this basket. You know what, guys? I was just trying to decide, should I cook the crawdads or the smallmouth first? And I have an idea. I've, ne I've always just boiled crawfish. Um, you can boil them or steam them. Those are the traditional ways of, of making them. And then it just occurred to me, what if I try just roasting one over a fire? Will that work? So we're gonna take one of these, and actually, he'll fit. Look at that, he'll fit right in the fish basket. Now we gotta kill him first, I'm not just gonna put him over fire, but he'll fit right in the fish basket. Let's try roasting a crawdad first, and then we'll, then we'll cook the other things. That'll determine, because I, I was not expecting to cook, uh, cook crawdads today, I thought we were just gonna catch fish. There we go, there's our craw, guys. I've never done this before. Set them right on the fire. There we go, he's getting red a little bit. Flip him over on that side. Roasted crawdad. You know what, we're gonna let this cool, and while he's cooling, I'm gonna prepare the smallmouth. So what I'm gonna do here is try to prepare this smallmouth Brazilian style. In Brazil, they use tons of limes instead of lemon, so I got a lime there. And then I have this Southwest Chipotle Mrs. Dash's seasoning. I've tried this one time before, if you guys watch my channel, and it has a really, really nice flavor. And then, of course, whatever. And of course, sea salt. And so I'm just gonna rub the fish down with this. So the flavorings kind of get down in there. We'll kind of score the smally. There we go, beautiful. We get some salt in there. That is no me, I like lots of salt. Then we'll cover it in chipotle seasoning. Oh, that's beautiful. This is stuff, it looks really spicy. It's actually not that spicy. Look at that. That is looking pretty sweet. Take our lime and just squeeze lots of lime over this whole thing. Add some to the inside and to this side. All right, our fish is done. Let's close this thing. This thing barely holds it. There we go. All right, so we'll add the fish. Hmm. Add the fish to the fire. It looks... That's just going to burn it. I'm going to have to let this uh, fresh wood burn down a little bit. You know what I'm going to do? Let's try the crawdad while we're waiting for this to burn down. Does roasted crawdad taste any good? The moment of truth. I'm sure if I dredge it through butter, that'd make it better, but let's see if it stands on its own merits. Definitely cooked. Piece of meat right there. Not bad. Yeah, you know, needs some seasoning for sure. I don't like dip it through butter, but it doesn't taste bad. I tried roasting crab over an open fire before, like a Dungeness crab. And I actually didn't even make a video that day because it tasted so awful. And I think it just burned it though. Because then I was thinking, I wonder if roasted shellfish is no good. Let's try the claw. A little bit of claw meat. Guys, that's not too bad. Not bad at all. It's roasted crawfish definitely needs a little butter, I think. Fire's definitely burned down enough. We'll set the smallie right on there. And I'll try to keep it at a nice, like, this wood is burning really, really quickly, so it's gonna be a little bit difficult. Cooking over an open fire is always a little bit difficult. I'm gonna add more lemon juice to this thing while it's cooking. Yeah. Boom. Small mouth is officially done. My old man is out fishing. 
Do I wait for him or do I just try it without him? Well, I don't know where he is, so. Let's try and bite of this thing here. Oh man, this just looks, look at this. Does that not look delicious? Bass is always a little bit chewier. That. That Mrs. Dash is, is a little spicier than I remember. Whew. That's good though. I mean, I love the, the combination of that Southwest and lime. Guys, I'll put links to the, to the uh, Mrs. Dash's Southwest seasoning. That is good. That's a wonderful combo. Lime and Southwest seasoning. Well, my dad did not catch any, but he tried. You're just in time for supper. All right, pumps. I'm gonna try the old oh, smallmouth. Got it. What do you think? Now, what's this called? What it's, kind of seasoning? It's like a chipotle seasoning, and then with lime, and I, I oh. fresh 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 lime. What oh do you my think? Goodness, who's that? I know. Is it like that's better than poaching, guys? Normally we oh, poach. Oh yeah. Normally we poach our bass. I don't know, let, let me, maybe you don't have to agree with me just because you're on camera, uh, but... Uh, no, I agree with Yeah, don't you? I thought that was even better than poaching. Mm, oh, yeah. Yep. It's like a roasted flavor, too. Uh-huh, you know? yeah, like roasted and then mm. a little bit of Southwest seasoning, too. Yeah, it? oh, man. I like that Brazilian food. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not, I mean, I don't mean to insult people who can really cook Brazilian food, but... <laughs> it's... Idaho, Brazil, how how do you say that? It's Idaho zillion food. All right, fellas, I need volunteers. I don't think we're gonna cook all of them. We're definitely gonna cook the biggest ones though. Some are making a getaway, but I'm just gonna kill them real quick with a knife. All right, all the craws are dead. Flip this over them. There we go. Oh, yeah, get that leaf off there. Stick them right there. I don't want to, I don't want to get them too hot too fast, so I'll, I'll let that burn down a second. Just kind of hold them over the flames. All right, guys, I think they are done. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, guys, then we put a little butter close to the fire there. Look at that, that is beautiful. All right, let's flip this open, like so. Probably let these crawdads cool a second. There we go. I'm gonna take the biggest one. Oh no, yeah, you look caught him. Look at that guy's big beast. Not as big as that one, if you guys follow my channel closely. Got a huge one this few weeks ago. I can't believe you found them today. Uh, yeah, I, really oh, yeah I, was, I was surprised. I think they were starting to burrow down in the mud because they were all around muddy areas. Oh, sure. So they're starting to go into hibernation, but yeah. Yeah, that was a pleasant surprise. It's been warm, though. Oh, poop vein is coming out of my... I took mine out already. I think I did. Adds a little <laughs> extra flavor. Snake River flavor. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is, that's good. Mm. That's really good. This is the life. This is the life. Mm. Big meaty claw right there. I should have told you if you get the tail, I get the claw. That's true. I took the big tail, biggest tail and the biggest claw. And the claw meat is always more tender. Mmm. Delicious. I was worried. I don't know why. I just. I know why I was worried about crawfish actually it was because when we tried cooking that Dungeness crab over the fire I think what it was yeah. the reason why that tasted bad is I just burnt <laughs> I just burnt the heck out of this burnt Dungeness the crab. Right out of it. we didn't even we didn't even make a video that day because we made this video I catch the crab and then it was so bad that like we couldn't eat it and so we just decided to scrap the, the whole video but tried ro that was going to be a video is roasting a dungeon crab over the fire. We'll have to uh, try that next time, but uh, control the fire a little bit. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. I may or may not have burned it. <laughs> yeah. This is good. This is really good. Man. We gotta remember this. 
I'm sorry, we only cut six of them. Yeah, why did you only catch that many? Guys, what would you like to see me catch? Oh, I thought, oh that is the raw knife. I was about to use the raw knife to eat. Anyway, um, guys, what would you like to see us catch and cook next? Because roasted crawfish. It's the bomb. It's the bomb. Wasn't even planning this. Guys, I got this roasting thing. This was, I think it was five bucks. Five bucks at a Winco. So, if I find them online, I'll put a link to them. Well, guys, cooking Idaho, Z Idaho Zill, <laughs> Idaho Zill style works. It's very, very tasty. We will be doing this again. Thank you. Yeah, you can see how good it is. Anyway, thank you, thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you in the next one.